Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Tuesday morning. Now, I normally read my daily my daily bread from the Jesus Calling book, but uh, on my Bible app, I came across something. I mean, it came across me. Let's let me say that. And it is amazing. And I wanted to share it with you. And I don't think I've ever read it before. But, okay, we're going to get right into it because I'm using uh, her phone to read it off of. Okay, it said, Behold, I sow you a mystery. It say, We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be risen incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible moment, I mean, for this, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay, that's in 1 Corinthians. Y'all can go to 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, and 53. And y'all might understand it better if you read it for yourself. Okay, this is the reflection of it, okay? It says, our current bodies are corruptible and mortal. They can fall to death and any pain inflicted on them. But in the time of Christ's return... All believers who have died will be risen up, and those who are alive will be given their immortal and incorruptible bodies. We may not know what we will look like, but we will know that it will be glorious, as God has promised us. Dear God, I thank you that I can rejoice in all things because I know that what I go through in this body is merely temporary. Every pain, every sickness, every infirmity are just signs of this fleshly body's weakness. But I am glad at a time that at a time is coming that this body will be done away with. And I and all your children will be will take on a more glorious form in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I just wanted to read that. Now, this is off my uh, Bible app that I, I subscribe to where I do my daily plans on there. And, I mean, this is just so amazing to know that we're going to get a new body. It just makes you don't never want to sin. You know, you don't want to sin when you do sin. You know what I'm saying? You get the guilty conscience and stuff, but this just makes you want to do everything right. Um, like I said, repent for your sins and ask God to forgive you. I do not want to miss out on that. You understand me? Uh-uh. It's not going to happen. All I can tell you is to give your life to Jesus. Repent and pray every single day. And talk to him and just ask him to lead you and guide you. Try to do everything right. Try not to do nothing wrong. And just, you know, because I know I don't want to go to hell. I don't told y'all this several times. And I'm sure you don't either. But I'm just putting to you like this. That's amazing to know that we're going to have new bodies. There ain't going to be no more pain. And y'all know what all the pain I go through. I, I be, Lord, forgive me for saying that if I ain't supposed to. But I be a fool to miss out on this. Uh-uh. No. No, ain't nothing, nobody, or nothing that important. You ask people to forgive you, uh, apologize to people, repent to Jesus, uh, love thy neighbors, do treat people like you want to be treated. Make sure that everywhere you go, people can see that there's something inside of you, and his name is Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you know that Jesus would not do, anything that you know Jesus would not say, I'm talking about me here, okay? I ain't talking about you. Anything you know Jesus would not say, don't say it. Miss K, Miss Khadija Reese, okay? Forgive me for my sins, Father. I'm serious as I can be. I'm just, you know, getting ready for work. And I'm going to pray for you. You continue to pray for me. But like I said, I'd be a fool to miss out on that. I ain't going to be no fool. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And y'all are chilling with K. Bye now.